And so Papoonin wisely ran away for dear life. Wise? Who wise now? You useless idiot! Why can't Papoonin not even die properly? What if they ask Banner to repay money? Hm? Huh? Die? Repay who? Nah, none of your business. Anyway, tell me where Rex and Blade went. Rex, Titan and friends ran away. Went to south of Cyclist Sea. After that, Banner knew as much as Papoonin. Storm was very thick, so Papoonin... Papoonin lost them, yes? Yes, but... And then, run away like coward? Yes, but... Banner not wanting people excuses of Papoonin! Just get back here! You got lot of work to do! Ma, ma, ma! Even price insurance banner takeout on Maelstrom go to waste! Still, how interesting. Heading southward from Cyclus Sea. In current season, that likely take them to Gormont. You, go! Get Consul Dougal on the line immediately! Yes, sir. One moment, please. Isn't Chairman Banner? What an unexpected pleasure! May I just say that I admire how you rebranded those broken core crystals? And selling them onto the Dunderheads back in Morar Den. Absolutely sublime! Banner did not call to hear pointless flattery. And blubbering about core crystals on unsecured line? Is Dougal some kind of idiot? What if Endor tap our communication? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. Man, forget it. We got bigger fishes to fry. Oh? What's going on? Listen up. Thank goodness. You aren't injured at all, are you? No, I'm fine, I guess. Where? I'm not certain. We seem to have washed up on a Titan of some kind. A Titan? <gasps> Where's Gramps and Nia? Gotta find them. They can't be far. Okay. I'm sure you're itching to get searching for Gramps and Nia, but I should warn you that you'll probably encounter a few enemies on the way. You want to prepare for that, so I'd better quickly fill you in on how Rex gets stronger and improves his uh, capabilities. Another thing you'll learn for completing you'll earn for competing battles are two important types of points, WP and SP. WP stands for weapon points. You can think of these as a measure of the level of skill that Rex has with his weapon, and you'll need them to level up arts. The same arts will deal much higher damage to enemies at higher levels, so it's worth strengthening your arts at the earliest opportunity. Give it a go by heading to the main menu, main menu characters, cha uh, character setup, and enhance arts. SP, meanwhile, stands for skill points. These represent how well Rex is trained in his battle techniques, and they're used to unlock his passive skills. Try giving some Rex some new skill points, some new skills in main menu characters or character setup affinity chart. Let me take this chance to, to bend your ear quickly about driver stats. 
Every driver has a few basic ones, namely HP, Strength, Aether, Dexterity, Agility, and Luck. HP is the driver's health. They fall if it drops to zero. Strength affects the damage from physical arts. Aether affects the damage and healing from other arts. Dexterity affects attack accuracy. Agility affects chance to evade enemy attacks. And Luck makes it easier to resist enemy debuffs and reactions. Alright then. Can we up... Okay, you can actually give stuff to Pyra specifically on her own as well. Modify Blade's weapon with core chips. I've gotten all that, so what about affinity chart for her? My usefulness has increased. You got affinity ward skill, learned, or improved. Increased damage dealt to beasts by 60%. Damage dealt to toppled enemies 100%. Criti uh, critical damage 25%. This is the one that opened up. Increased blade combo damage by 24%. The No Blade 3 tutorials were developers going, clearly people were too stupid to understand the very quick explanation that the second game had, so we need to explain every little detail this time. Wait. Because so far, I want to say, like, there haven't been an, an egregious amount of tutorials just yet. Like, it's no fairy fencer, but still. I wonder how much is it going to keep going. I have three days, so I can get this one to increase strength by 20%. Or, I keep saying percent, but it's no, it's 20 flat. Nice one. Next one will be agility by 20. 750 for this. Allows the use of the driver arts assigned to X at the start of battle. Oh, shit. Increase restored and increase out of 20. There are two separate equipment tutorials. Hmm. I have only 219 weapon points, so I can't do any of these right now. I remember these not being that much, actually. Not equipment, equipment, really? I still can't do another muscle belt, but alright. Blade setup menu is open. What modification menu open? Fendi chart menu open. So many things. And that's where I guess this show up. Yeah, what modification for the blade. Treasure acquired. What you got for me? Money. And a red thread. Sounds like a component for something. Hold on, I almost forgot to... <laughs> Bitch! I forgot to tell you about something really important. How to develop your blade's capabilities. There are three main ways to develop blade... Uh, blade. Tell of a blade. But modification, equip ox cores, and affinity charts. Web modification is exactly what it sounds like. A blade's weapon is tied to them from the moment they're awakened, so it can't just be replaced. You can apply core chips in, web in the main menu character, blade setup modifications. What do you think of the game so far? So far, it's all right. I, I want to hold off statements on the voice acting, mainly because I want to see how other characters are handling it. Because some of the characters I feel are voiced great. The Nopon and I guess have never let me down for their voices. I just love them. Whenever they're on screen, I look forward to them speaking. But some other characters, it feels like the voice direction was not tied to the action going on screen. And it may be more in line with like if I was, if it was in Japanese dialogue, it would be much more in, inflection and like how it's going on all that. But some of them not really. Malo's VA is awesome. Malo sounds all right, honestly, so far. 
If you come across a shop selling core chips during your adventures, it's always a good idea to invest in some new ones. Now let's talk about the affinity chart. This is the chart which shows the range of proficiencies available uh, to a specific blade. To be fair, it would probably sync to the Japanese Alliance first. Oh, that's my assumption. My assumption, first and foremost, is especially for any games coming out of Japan, is that lip flaps from the characters talking alike is synced for ja Japanese dialogue. If it's ever synced to both, I give it a standing ovation for the effort. But I, I mainly mean on certain things, like for example, I think it happened with once already during uh, Nia's dialogue. Where she would be in a... Like, the character model would react very jarringly to something. Like, maybe the rope incident. When, she, like, he's saying that if the, board, if the ship goes away, it's going to take her leg with her. The model goes, like, jumping back in fear and jolt. But the voice acting... It didn't sound like she was that. It, like, she just went, ah. Not, like, something that I feel would have made her jump that far back. It happened in a couple other things as well. That made me just sort of look at that and go, that's a little weird. But maybe it's just, like for certain character or their moments, and it won't be a thing later on. And that's why I don't really want to comment on it too much. Just point out that's what I'm looking at, and that's about really it. Xenoblade Chronicles 3's voice direction was a lot better in my experience than when we get to that game, we'll experience it for ourselves. Here's where you can acquire or enhance abilities like arts or field skills. Field skills can be a great help in removing obstacles from your path. These abilities and power-ups can be had by fulfilling the conditions for the Affinity Rewards and the Affinity Chart for the whole whole of goals for you to aim for. You can take a look at the Affinity Rewards here. Min, Menu, Characters, Blade Setup, Affinity Charts. Finally, we have Ox Cores. These are like accessories specifically for blades to equip. Perhaps it is a little too soon to tell you about Ox Cores though. I'll save the details for when you've actually got a hold of one. Here's the tutorial for later. We'll tell you the tutorial once you get to that point. And I wonder if there's going to be more tutorial than that. That's a level seven I saw. And hit. Get over here. Let's show them a thing or three. We shall we fight. Can do this together. Yeah. I'm going to fight so many things with forces to level up, even though I'm pretty sure I need one to. Not level up too much for Nia is going to be joining the party, odds are. But experience is experience. Just so. Get over here. Okay, time to take you down. Come on, there you go. Ha! Are I'll keep you safe, Pyra. Salvage's honor. Thank you. That, that means a lot to right. me, Rex. Look down for yourself, just not when other people talk. Wait, what? How do you like it, but now people talk? Is it maybe like a divisive so. opinion? I'm actually not sure. Okay. You got me curious, Time though. To take you down. Let's go! Yeah! This won't do! Don't give up on me! Don't and then there we go! Edge. Sword bash! There we go. I can hear in the word peak fiction mean. Oh, okay, that's what you mean. Also, peak fiction, I feel, is. A terrible choice of words for most things. Because I hope I never experience whatever you call peak fiction. Because that just means I've, I've experienced the best thing ever and it's all downhill from here. Not to mention, there's a bit of arrogance in such a phrase, too. That was wonderful, Rex. Really? I'll try even harder for the next one. Just you wait. The peak's none. God damn it, Angelo. Like, even for, like, the peak fiction, as much as I love Aegis Rim, 30 Cent of Aegis Rim, I fucking love that game. I still wouldn't call that peak fiction because I still hope there's better things out there that's gonna be experienced by me. 
This is a big guy. You know what? I'll fight you too. Okay. Time to take you down. We're about to level up too, I think, right? I kinda love how the attack so far, it's like the little legs. Oh god, electricity! How can there be peak when there are multiple tall mountains elsewhere? God damn you guys. I meant not play 30 Cent Ages Ages Frame. It's a good game. I enjoyed its story far more than I ever thought I would. And it's kind of made me start appreciating mecha as a genre a bit more than I initially had, just because of how good the storytelling was. It honestly put an unreal unrealistic expectation for me on other visual novels. Like I played it. And then I jumped immediately, not immediately, sorry, but my next visual novel was, what's it called? Digimon Survive. And for some reason, my mind sort of went, oh, hey, maybe it's going to be a Digimon story with something as good as certain Sentinels. And it fucking was not. <laughs> All right, we've got something going on here. Red story mark. Gramps! Gramps, no! Mm, it is good to see you uninjured, Rex. How awful. Hold on, I should have some herbs. You are kind, but no amount of human medicine would suffice. But... Weep not, my boy. This is my fate. Uh, I can't help it. Can I? No parting is forever. We will surely meet again when the flow of the ether will set. <sighs> the days with you were the best I ever had. Until we meet again, Rex. Gramps. Gramps. I told you not to cry, didn't I, Rex? <laughs> Rex. <laughs> Rex. Gramps! Rex! Wait, what? your eyes. Don't you recognize me? Um, well, not really, no. I am so confused right now. So you see, by maximizing cellular regeneration to retain all vital bodily functions, I seem to have reverted to a larval stage. Well, that's quite handy. Must be nice to be a titan. This isn't something just any old titan can do. Only one.
one so advanced as myself? Um, Rex, are you angry? <laughs> I'm not. It's more that I didn't want you to see me blubbering like a baby. <laughs> it's okay to be angry. So, when will you be back to your old self? Good question. No more than 300 years. Th 300 years? But I'll be long dead by then. Hmm. I suppose that's true. But what about my house? Do I have to live in the streets? Perhaps this is an opportunity to fly the nest. You mean, pay rent? Oh, <laughs> miser boots. It's a massive extra expense. Still. Glad you're okay, Rance. Oh, shoot. We can't stand around all day. We have to find Mia. Mia? You mean that driver and her blade from before? Yeah. They kind of saved our lives. I do hope they're all right. Gramps, do you remember anything? I remember crashing through many trees before landing here. They probably fell off then. Hmm. That's not a whole lot to go on. Perhaps we would have some luck following the trail of broken trees. Good thinking, Pyra. Let's go. By the way, Rex, is that a core crystal I see shining on your chest? Just what happened to you? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to find Nia. Oh, -ho! now this makes a nice change. Roles were reversed. So now that little helmet on on his suit makes sense. It's to hold the, the marketable little plushie. <laughs> Just I will so. fight you. Let's show him a thing or three. I played with novel games and I never got into it. I mean, visual novels are a style of game that I got into just because initially that's one of the few games I could find that was very easy to be played in my, at the time, especially, fuck all laptop. It could run Minesweeper, everything could run Doom, so I probably could have kind of run Doom, but not much else. Like, even at the time when I was playing League on that laptop, it ran, I think, at a maybe 27 FPS, actually. <laughs> if Yama's still here, he remembers that laptop. He can tell you how, like, that thing would still somewhat lag when there was, a, like, a big team fight. Because <clears throat> I remember him playing him a Just gangplank so. more than a handful of times with that, okay. like, with that laptop. So, like... Mission novels were one of the biggest games that, like, I got a chance to play. I will never want- I want to never see Minesweeper anymore. <laughs> Witch Doom? Yes. Oh wait, I keep on coming back to this because I'm like, I have another muscle ring. I should equip it, but no. Not only can I not give Pyrrha the muscle ring, I can only equip one of them myself. If not, or not muscle ring, muscle belt. We could have so much, wait, 21? Oh, rarities up. To which... Jesus, fuck. I have to now worry about rarity for the shit I find. But, like, I played a lot of his novels when I was younger and had fuck all to, like, really distract me. Especially when I was getting into PC gaming. Originally, it was just PS2 and PS1 stuff, so I just play a lot of, you know, Crash Bandic tutorial. What you're looking at right now is a collection point. Check here to uncover collectible items. 
you'll find collection points all over All Rest, and each area will have its own selection of items to discover. Also, there are some collection points where you can uh, where you can use Blade's field sc uh, skills to find special collectible items that you couldn't get otherwise. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, all right? Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3 specifically. I never played Crash Bandicoot 1. Also Crash Team Racing, of course. The collectibles that you find are sure to come in handy during your adventures. So if you come across a collection point, be sure to check it out. <laughs> Not the worst time. Come out, come out. Team Racing was awesome? Oh, it was amazing. That was my favorite kart racer just in general at the time. My friend had Mario Kart, six, the 64 Mario Kart. But, like, I loved Crash Team Racing so much. It was so much fun. And it was so infuriating trying to beat that game, like, the career story mode at the time for me as a kid. I was not good with racing games, but that's where I started getting my love for racing games. I played that. I played Devil May Cry, as you know, Dot Hack. And for fighting games, it was just Tekken Tag Tournament and... Street Fighter Alpha 3, I think? The, that was on the PSP. Just so. But like when it came to PC, okay. I had fucked. I had nothing to go for it. Aside maybe like some light emulation of stuff. I like your app. I'll keep you safe, Pyra. Salvage's honor. Thank you. That means a lot to me, Rex. So for me, it was largely a lot of visual novels and. This one was also the one thing that got me into like appreciating storytelling more than others. Like I remember, I think it was a friend that put me onto this visual novel. I I don't think it was Yama. I think it was someone else. They had mentioned a visual novel that was being worked on, and I'm like, that sounds possibly possibly stupid. Because it was a vision novel that was billed to me as like, Hey, dude, here's a vision novel with a good story. Like, really? What's it about? First off, let me brace for impact. It's a vision novel that was made by people on 4chan. Which just threw me for a loop going, that's not a thing. No. But no, like it, it was. I played it. Yeah, Angela knows where I'm coming from with this story. Yeah. I It was built to me by a friend, Kadawa Shoujo. Yep. And by God, that was a... Honestly, solid visual novel. Couple girls, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, time to take you down. Rex, let's go. Ow. I remember playing that one. I remember playing um, a Fate State Night. There was another one that I genuinely cannot remember what it was, but it was a visual novel that had like an off like mini game uh, that was just a card battler and that's what actually drew me to it i saw the, like screenshots of this vision novel that just said all right in between the story segments you're just playing a toned down version of like Yu-Gi-Oh." and i said all right sure i'm playing that let's try it and those card moments were very few and far between it was nothing like i was expecting to the point that I actually don't remember what the game was called, or if it was even good or not. I just remember the actual minigame itself. And it being, like, very RNG-based. Not to boast, but that was spectacular! Right, Gramps? Remember, Rex? There's a lot of, uh, visual novels that I just don't remember playing, and I'm gonna have to, like, eventually, I wanna, like, look back and see which one I played. Looks like something's blocking your way up ahead. But if your blade has the right field skills, then you might be able to overcome obstacles like this. What, the one FF you played? You got addicted to the card uh, battler then? I mean, yes, I just love card battlers, all right? When I was a kid, I loved playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and other card games, but it was not because I wanted to win, that I wanted to build the best deck, no. I wanted to see everyone else's face just go, why the fuck are you here? Whenever I stepped up to the table, that was just, that was my life. I played Burn, I played Mill, I played all the kind of the decks that you're like, really? And I said, yes. Are you going to win? I plan not to, but I plan to make sure that even if the scoreboard said I lost, emotionally, I won. 
Any particular visual novels you want to play someday? I don't know, Mikisara. I have not looked at visual novels in so long that I honestly cannot tell you which good ones there are out there and if I want to play them or not because I don't know them. I need to look at them more and more. Aside that, there's only one that's really on my on my radar, and that's because Beast will just keep bringing it up. It was um, a Utab something Mono. I don't remember what, what it was called, but he insists on playing it, and he got out of me the thing of like, I'll try it out one day. What Angelo type? That one. He's mentioned it enough times that I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'll if I can ever find it, I'll give it a look. Try in, uh, investigating the fallen tree. I still don't know what it's about. I call upon the power of fire. Level zero zero fire master heat. But I need to honestly play other. We just did one game. You know, as you can see, you just used Papyrus Fire Master to burn it up and get it out of the way. If you want to see all the field sp uh, skills Pyra can use, go to the main menu, characters, blade setup, info. There are a lot of places in all rest that you won't be able to get to if you don't have the right field skills. Even if an obstacle seems impassable at first, it's worth getting a bit closer to see if you can do something about it. Anyway, let's uh, keep moving and see if we can find Nia anywhere. It's 169 away. There's some uh, non-VM games, too, if that's a way to ease. Yeah. There are a lot of games that will ease you into visual novels, like style games. And even then, like... Visual novels are a weird category for a couple people because it's hard to sell them as it's a game. I've heard more than one argument saying a visual novel is not a game. It's a story, or it's a book. It's a picture of being on being displayed to you via a PC screen, and that's it. What have we here? To which there's an argument there that I honestly kind of agree with. Vision novels are differentiated mainly for me of how they make the story unravel and the storytelling itself. I always loved vision novels just because it was one of the games that the game could only be good if the story was good. It could have awesome cinematic, it could have like nice characters, it could have good music. But if the game itself was not, like if the story itself was not good, then just I, I did not give a shit about it. When did it get so late? Oh, I would look I'm up its soundtrack, and that's about it. <laughs> All in one piece. What's that sound? I felt a ripple in the ether. Feels like a driver is using a blade in battle. I'm certain of it. Let's go. Okay. We're here to help, Nia. Rex, what are you doing here? My lady, now is our chance. Let's attack. Let's attack after we oh. sheathed our weapons. <laughs> How's it going, Flash and Go? Welcome. Story and presentation are interesting. But it's also like the layers of visual novels. Like someone pointed out, actually. Mickey Sara. Persona is a visual novel, technically. Most games that have that still image and like their story is told in the manner that is a wide angle lens or just like close up on the character's face or something. They do an animation or maybe, and it shows like a portrait of them. And it's just talking back and forth, talking heads. That's vision novel storytelling in a sense. And what differentiated them for a good while for me was just what else they had aside the story. They sometimes had to have something else, and I normally, or at least initially, I attributed that to being the story cannot be that fantastic, so they have something else there to spice it up. For that one game that I forgot about, it was the card battling, and for a couple others, they have something else as well, as like a mechanic. Yes, Trev. Tangenting into the Power World rant. What Power World rant? I saw a Utawa Romano publisher on Steam for reasons. What reason, Angelo? Before you help me out, let me explain a little about how to fight when you have multiple drivers in your party. The icon that the arrow is pointing to right now indicates the enemy's weakness. This thing's weak to fire. 
It used to be a porn game, so it is an emotionally porn game publisher, but I saw. Ah, gotcha. The place doesn't last two hours. Yeah, but we're not talking about Power World at all anymore right now. <laughs> Wish you could play this game again for the first time? That's easy to do. Get a fresh account. Get a fresh um, account on Steam or, or Nintendo or whatever and download the game and then play it. That'll be, a, that'll be you playing that game again for the first time. Since it's a fire icon, the enemy is weak, uh, is weak to fire. So piro has got something of an advantage, some advantage here. Next, let's uh, talk about how to get party members back on their feet. When a diver's, uh, driver's HP hits zero, they'll be incapacitated. As long as you have at least one section filled in the party gauge, you can move over to a capacitated party member and press A to revive them. Even if you're incapacitated yourself, the party members can come in uh, and revive you in the same way. You just need to you need to charge them up in the party gauge. I also need to tell you about blade combos. <laughs> but to do that, first we'll need to launch a special. Help your special gauge uh, this time. I'll fill up your special gauge this time, so fire away. And oh god, doesn't Travelers to Heart 2 is coming to Steam. Never heard of that series, I think. Spin off of a dating sim VN where they made it a dungeon crawler EO style. The game is a mess, but it has some unique charms. You should try out the Blade of a combo, going from Fire Element Special to a Water Element one. First up, trigger Pyra's level one special. Okay, Pizza, no. here we go. Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. To link a Blade My combo, you'll need to use specials one level higher than the previous one. I'll bump the special gauge to two, so press ZL to trigger it. ZL, not ZR. All right. Why not? Oh, and she just does it immediately. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Oh god. That ate up my art right there. Fuck. Double spinning heads up and we'll win for sure. I like Jet your attitude. I'm just you shot. So stepping already talking so about that one. You guys uh, even... One sec. Well, I guess that's a stupid question. Indeed. Seriously, it's good to see you. And you're all right. Right back at you. Hey, by the way, what happened to the big guy who saved us? The Titan? Are you talking about me? Wait, what? How? That's sort of a long story. Let's get somewhere we can rest. I'll tell you all about it then. That seems prudent, my lady. Sure. Lead the way. I see. So you two are off to Elysium. Listen, I never thanked you properly. For saving us, I mean. Dromark said that you carried us all the way here. We owe you our lives, Titan. No need to thank me. After all, you were the ones who saved Rex. Don't mention it. So, you Titans can regenerate. Pretty handy. This isn't something just any old Titan can... You can retire that line now. Excuse me. I'd like less of that attitude. If you had listened to me and declined that reckless job to begin with, we wouldn't be in this mess. Take a nap, you said. Like I was some kind of doddery old man. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm a terrible disappointment. Look how sorry I am. Can you not muster even a shred of sincere remorse? Sorry, but I can't. Hmm, what? If I hadn't taken the job, 
It'd have got their hands on Pyra. Rex. I couldn't let that happen. No way. They can never take her. Uh, hmm. Hello there. Still awake, I see. I can't seem to sleep. It's good to see you again, Azurda. Likewise. Though you've changed a lot since last we met, Pyra. I suppose I have. A lot's happened. Yes, it has. I wanted to thank you for saving my dear Rex. And I need to know what you told him. Is that what you really intend? Yes. It is my true desire. I see. Well, that's good enough. I have no reason to doubt you, Pyra. That said, I do have one other goal now. Jin and Malos. I cannot allow them to continue with their current course. The fate of an Aegis never changes. Right. And you're going to get Rex mixed up in this? <laughs> I'm not blaming you. No matter how hard you tried, that boy would find some way to get involved. I see half your core is missing. Seems you've taken on quite a burden. Azurda, I... Promise me you'll take care of Rex. I will. <sighs> right then. We should probably try and find a town or something. Does anyone have any idea where we are? This is Gormot, a province of the Adanian Empire. You must have seen the Gormot Titan before. Yeah, only from a distance, though. We're somewhere around its belly. So, this is Gormot, huh? Hang on a second. Nia, your ears. Are you Gormotty? Well done, genius. Took you long enough. Gormot is the land of my lady's birth. Wow. Well, that's reassuring. If we want to find a town, the first step is to get out of this forest. Keep heading up, and we'll hit the plain soon. The town's that way. Brilliant. Let's get going. Now we can move. Gotcha. All right, very quickly, what you were saying, Slashing Ghoul. Damn, I've already, st uh, already started stepping. Who told you about that one? So people did it in chat, but I kind of had a cl uh, figure that that was going to be a feature when I tried something that ha you could do in Xenoblade 1, I believe, where you would attack, and because the animation started already, you could move around. The animation would finish, and you'd still do that, but you could reposition yourself. In this game, you can't anymore. They got rid of that. So I tried the next logical thing. Attack, and the moment the damage number showed up, move. If instantly forces, uh, forces the player to move and cancel the recovery animations. And from there, I figured, oh, that's interesting, but all right. One pointed out, yeah, the knee of the ears are backwards. Why does... Are they? I mean... So, 
right. New game plus. Meh. Honestly, it was the chat that pointed out that I should be doing that more to, what's it called, charge up my arts. And that, I honestly, like, I read the tutorial and I just blanked on the idea of like, oh yeah, start a step to get your arts up faster. Actually, hold on. She's in the party now, right? She is, and... There we go. Because HP restored to self. So she could heal herself better. She is the healer class, so I guess that makes sense. But aside that... Let's give you also a muscle belt. I don't know why. Just more attack for you. Do you have to worry about your infinity chart at all? Not yet. Your first one is fucking 750? Jesus Christ. What about, what about your arts? Actually, it's 36. Jesus. Alright, so Butterfly Blade. No special effects, it's just a physical hit. Spawn the small HP potion on hit with 10% chance to spawn two. 20% chance to spawn two with this. And this is just another... It's a heal, actually. Healing Halo. Physical, Ether, and then a healing one in general. It's a reaction break type, yeah. Hmm. 10%, 20% is actually a big, uh, a pretty decent jump. So I think I'm going to go for, actually, hold on, 14, 11, 14. Jeez, you have to attack a lot. I'll go for the Jaguar Slash for the moment, because it's... Wow, 1460? Jesus, that really jumps in costs. So I guess with the speed that we are getting them, sure. Increased damage dealt from side attacks for 80%. For Gemini Loop. That can go 200 to 240. We have enough left over, so sure. We shall see. 